Hey guys, what is up? It's Alex and today I'm gonna talk to you about what makes Subarus so safe. A lot of people know that Subarus are safe. They're ranked among the highest for safety ratings, but it's not always clear other than airbags and seatbelts why they're so safe. So I'm gonna talk about that in detail today. If you are new to my channel and you enjoy Subaru related content, then please consider clicking that subscribe button down below. And if you get value out of this video and learn something new, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. We'll start with some of the more obvious features and then kind of go down the list of things that probably you're not already aware of. So first and foremost, Subarus have a ton of airbags. The Outback specifically has eight airbags. Subarus have airbags in the front, they have them in the side, the side curtains here, the front seat cushion, and the driver's side knee. All Subarus are created on the Subaru Global Platform, and really what this means is that all of them are designed with a, a specific frame design. And of course they use high grade steels for added stability and rigidity in the frame, but they also have crumple zones in the front and the rear, which helps absorb impact if you are in a collision but also keeping the cabin area and the passengers inside safe because this area will stay intact you also have this hook right here not a lot of people have have noticed this but if you ever notice it you'll see a hook here with a little latch and when that door is shut if there is an impact say from the rear that door is going that latch is going to hook into place and it's going to keep this door from not only opening but it also creates more stability in the vehicle in the event of a collision subarus are also known for their four-cylinder horizontal boxer engine i'll talk about why the horizontal boxer engine is a an advantage specifically in just a moment but this engine is also designed where the the front of the engine sits up a little bit higher than the rear so if you are ever hit from the front the engine will break down under the car versus into the cabin area which in that case would potentially hurt the people inside the car so as I mentioned, what are the benefits of the horizontal boxer engine? By the way, when people refer to that, they are talking about the design and the position of the pistons. So they are moving horizontally versus vertically, as you may see in other engines. Because the engine has more of a horizontal profile, it allows it to sit a little bit lower into the bay of the car. So I closed the hood here to show you guys because the engine sits lower in the bay of the car, it has a much lower profile and a much lower hood line to resemble more of like a four-door sedan would have. So obviously this has 8.7 inches of ground clearance. So it is technically still considered a midsize SUV or wagon, but whenever you are sitting inside the vehicle, you can see over the hood much easier. So you have more visibility than maybe you otherwise would have in a comparable sized SUV that doesn't have the horizontal boxer engine. The second benefit to that horizontal boxer engine is that because the weight of that heavy engine sits down lower into the car, it also gives the car a lower center of gravity. So whenever you're making turns, whenever you're driving, the car is going to be much more planted to the ground so it's less likely to roll over if you're taking turns really fast or even on side impact if you get hit really hard from the side it's less likely to roll over in an accident all new subarus come with the ability to connect your phone through bluetooth you can also connect your phone through apple carplay and android auto and what that'll allow you to do is to connect your phone hands-free you can store it away down here and be able to use these voice command controls over here to make phone calls and when you receive text you can reply hands-free and it works really well so that is just something again that allows you to have both hands on the wheel and if you do need to make a phone call or things like that while you're traveling you can do so much more safely i've talked about it a lot in previous videos but all new subarus have the eyesight cameras so these are the cameras on the left and the right that you see when getting into the car that will control a suite of different technologies. So for example, one thing they do is automatically apply the brakes if you get too close to an object in front of you. If you set your adaptive cruise control, which can be done right here, that will set your cruise control at whatever speed you set. And then if a car in front of you starts slowing down, your car will adjust its speed and slow down as well until that car gets out of the way. 
And then the last thing that it does is control your throttle. So if you're giving it gas towards an object in front of you, it's gonna limit that throttle response to help prevent running into somebody in front of you. EyeSight also controls another feature called lane departure warning and lane centering. So lane departure warning looks for lane markings on either side of the road and it will actually alert you if you get too close to either side of the road. The lane centering is this button right here and that will actually use the power steering to keep you centered in your lane to help prevent crossing the line and potentially getting in a head-on collision. Something that I learned more recently is that 53%, so more than half of fatalities on the road today are from people leaving their lane accidentally. So this lane centering and lane departure function has a huge impact on the safety while driving out on the road. Another related function that is not controlled by eyesight but is instead controlled by sensors on the back of the car is the blind spot detection. This feature will light up orange when you have somebody behind you on the left or the right side of your car in a lane where maybe you don't see them because they're in your blind spot. So again, this helps prevent you from accidentally going into a lane and getting into a collision from that way as well. All Subarus have all-wheel drive with the exception of the BRZ, the sports car, which that one has rear-wheel drive. And all Subarus have the four-wheel ventilated disc brakes that help with additional stopping power when you need it. Here is the second to last feature I wanted to show you guys. I almost forgot about it. It's called driver focus. So if your car has driver focus, not all trim levels have it. You'll see this little infrared bar up here and that will scan your face whenever you get in the car to not only set your memory mirrors and seats, if you wanna see a video on that, click the YouTube card above, but it has a safety function to it. So it helps detect distractive driving. So if you're looking over there or looking over there, or you know sometimes people are texting and driving or just not fully paying attention to the road ahead, it will detect that and it'll audibly and visibly alert you up on the dash. So it's just another gentle reminder to make sure you're paying attention and keeping your eyes on the road. But it also has that convenience feature that I just mentioned as well, which is to set your memory seats and mirrors. The last feature I wanted to tell you guys about has to do with the headlights. So all new Subarus come standard with these LED headlights. And not only do they look really stylish, but they have a lot of functionality and practicality to them. So these are steering responsive headlights. So they'll help you whenever you are going down back roads or, or roads that are not well lit because they're gonna light the road ahead as you're turning versus just staying stagnant and straight ahead with the vehicle. So it's just a nice added safety touch and something that I think is, is really nice that Subaru now adds as a standard on all their new cars. Well guys, I have about 1% battery life left on my phone right now, so I'm trying to finish this up quickly. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in the next one.